Hello everyone, and today it's really a short tutorial. First I will show you what is IFC and how you can really nicely load inside to the, your project. And uh, after that we will talk about uh, why we should use IFC and why we should use it. Uh, let's say you have some project. Uh, you have the project like this, yeah, right? And uh, you have it inside IFC. So as you can see, this is already IFC. Uh, it's pretty okay, you can transfer to your client, everything alright, but how you actually load it inside to the project this IFC? Let's check it out. Uh, you opening new project, uh, sorry not family, uh, you opening new project like this and of course you're using your company uh, template or you're using your own template. So after that you're going to the insert and you're using uh, link IFC. So let's link our IFC and let's check it out what we will get. And as you can see here is our IFC. So let's check it out. I will go to the 3D view. Uh, just a few seconds because it's not original model actually right now. And as you can see this is IFC. I will unswitch off the my uh, link view. And you can see I can select that. I can check what is that and as you can see this is roof. This is a generic model, but why it's generic model? Your first question, because this is floor. And let's check it out our wall. Wall is wall. And this looks like okay, but let's bind this model. Uh, let's bind this link. Uh, we want attach details and we know on grids and uh, levels. And just let's see what we will get. So here we are and here is our model. Let's select this model and let's ungroup it. Why ungroup it? Because uh, now it's like one group. Uh, once you will bind it from the link, it will be grouping. Let's see. This is roof, okay, this is wall, but what the point? I cannot change this wall as you can see. It Yeah, this is wall, this is coming from AFC, uh, but I cannot do anything with this wall. I can only rebar it. So this is really, really bad. So how we can load it right IFC to make some changes. Not all the changes, but can some do some changes. Let's see even the our floor. We cannot do anything because this is a generic model. Uh, the reason is you should load in the other type. Uh, you should load like this. I mean your IFC. You should open new file. I mean uh, you should uh, close all the files. After that you should go to the uh, file. Uh, find here the open. And find here IFC only like this. Find here of IFC, and after that, just select your IFC. Make sure your uh, after joint elements it's on, because uh, otherwise your walls not will connect to the each other, and you will have the intersection. So and say okay, it will takes really long time. Uh, depends your model. If your model not so big, uh, it takes like few minutes. It's your model really huge. It will really take so much time. Uh, after it finish, we will back. Okay, once it will finish, it's always will asking us and join some elements. So you don't have any choice. You should say and join, and join, and join. Uh, depends how many elements uh, troubling you have. Like uh, no worries about that. Sometimes uh, they're asking delete some types because I see it's not like a perfect standard uh, sending model between one beam pro uh, program to the other one like from the Archica to the Revit but anyway anyway you will get the model uh, editable you will see it right now yes we have some problems now we have like uh, some uh, flying uh, type of the uh, our structure but anyway let's see the wall I will select the wall right now and as you can see it's editable. It's also the wall, it's also that have some parameters from the IFC but I can edit it in Revit. So it means once it will come from for example from the Archicad I can use the edit for, for uh, edit mode and I can change the profile of the my wall inside the Revit. Uh, yes of course you need to make some workflow between the uh, one beam software in other one beam software but anyway this uh, this type of the transferring IFC this much workable. Let's see for for example our generic model. Do you remember uh, we did uh, when we transferring model be by our model here uh, you cannot do anything at and this model was generic model let's see what's going on here I will select this model it's also generic model but I can edit I can edit and place it let's see what's going on here I will select that and I cannot do anything with this model that's the problem 
Uh, so if you want to uh, edit your model uh, from I IFC, you should use the this type of the transferring. Of course, after that, you can just save it like the RVT file, so like Revit file. You can just save it like Revit file and you will use it like a Revit file. So this is the way, these two ways how you can load inside the Revit IFC file. So I recommend you use the second way. You should open Revit, don't forget, open Revit after that, go to file, you find header, open and use open IFC. Only this way will give you a chance to change some elements in your IFC. The other one way is not will give you any chance to change it. So you will get only static model without anything. So I hope it was useful for you, useful for the some professional or maybe some advanced user. For the uh, new user, I don't think so. It will be helpful, but uh, still you will know how to use it. Uh, no worries, use the other uh, BIM software. Now you know you can transfer your model from the uh, one software to the other software, but it's not perfect, but still you can transfer it. Okay, thank you guys for watching and see you next time.